What up, Chemistry Chaos? Uh, this is the, uh, I forgot how many episodes this is, but uh, I'll figure it out later. Uh, today in class, we learned why carbon is so awesome and how it can form many different types of molecules. Some of those molecules uh, we consider to be lipids, proteins, carbohydrates. Uh, we even have two types of carbohydrates, polysaccharides and monosaccharides. Well, in the lab tomorrow, you guys are going to be doing a test to determine whether these molecules are present in an unknown given sample. So we're going to do three tests. We're going to do the Burey test, the iodine test, and the Benedict's test. So I'm going to show you this video here. It is a video of me doing first the iodine test. You can see right here that I have uh, my iodine ready to go. In these two tubes, I have an unknown sample of either a polysaccharide or a monosaccharide or a protein. Well, the iodine test tests for polysaccharides, so long chains of molecules. Michael, what are you doing here? Michael, get out of here. Come on, get, get out of here. No, I don't care about your excuse. You need a note. Yeah, that's right. You need a note, bro. Get out of here. Go. Okay, good. Back to my test. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dump the iodine into both samples. The left one turns a dark, cloudy black, and the right one, well, it remains kind of the iodine brown color. Well, the one on the left is a positive for polysaccharides, because that's what the iodine test looks for, polysaccharides. So I would say the one on the left is positive, meaning it has polysaccharides in it. The one on the right is a negative, so we wouldn't consider it. Now, coming up next is the Bure test. This is a test signaled specifically for proteins. If we want to find out if there's proteins in it, well, we got to do two things. We got to add some sodium hydroxide, which is this stuff I'm putting in right now. And then we got to put in some copper sulfate, which I have in this tub right, or little dropper here. And what we should see happen is we should see a violety color, more of like a, like a purple. And I'm going to keep going. There I go. There I go and into the other two. One of these has a protein and I want to find out which one. Alright, so I've added my copper sulfate. I'm going to take a look at both these tubes. I'm going to shake them up a little bit. Now if you notice the one on the left is very purple. Almost matches my glove. That is a positive. The one on the right still remains kind of blue. It is definitely a positive one left. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Alright, Anyway, this is the Benedict's test. This one requires a little heat, so I gotta use a hot plate here. I'm gonna use this solution, and this test for monosaccharides, so just simple sugars. A positive test will indicate that simple sugars are present. All right, so here I go. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it inside and into my solution. There I go. There it goes. This couldn't take any longer. Come on. Come on, there you go. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Either way, one of these has monosaccharides in it. I'm going to find out. Anytime now. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Come on. All right, there we go. Now, it does require some heating, so I'm going to put these on the hot plate real quick. Give you guys an idea of how this works. Shake them up, shake them up. All right, come on, heat them up. Heat them up. There we go. I'm going to let them sit for about, I don't know, three minutes. But we're not going to wait three minutes. All right. At the end of three minutes, which should be right now. Okay, yep, three minutes. There it is. You'll notice a dramatic change on the one on the left. That is a positive result. The one on the left has monosaccharides in it. These are all just organic molecules we were testing today to determine what kinds of things were in each sample. The one on the left definitely has monosaccharides in it. All right. You'll be doing this lab in class tomorrow. Hope you paid attention. Make sure that you actually write these down. Each one of these tests need to be written down. If you need to go back and, I guess, I don't know, go back and write each test's name down and what they test for. All right, tonight, or actually today, uh, today's musical artist is 12 Foot Ninja. <laughs>